be showing you how to do the simple tatted lace this can be attached to any table mat edges or hanky edges or for sarees also or any dresses and this can be worked for any length we require this is again done using I did this with anchor thread and shuttle ball and shuttle thread now let's begin this lace has rings and then chains which, which will be worked continuously beginning we have to attach the ball and shuttle thread together with a knot now I am going to work with this ring this is a ring of 7 picots separated by 2 double stitch now form a ring in the left hand I am going to hide this thread also this will be the first knot and then second knot over it now these two threads can be cut and we can place another knot over it now two double stitch pico and then again double stitch now hold the shuttle I'm going to go over again parallel to these two fingers of the right hand and these two fingers on top of the thread and move the shuttle as I'm showing this will be the first knot keep the shuttle thread straight and then pull this left hand ring thread to form the first knot and now keep the shuttle thread in this way this finger these two fingers always on top and the shuttle should move from top to bottom and pull the shuttle thread straight and place the first knot now move again move the shuttle thread from down to top keeping it straight pull and then from top to down now make a pico give a bit of thread and place a second knot over it this will be the pico And then pico again
pull this ring thread back make the ring a little bigger so that we can accommodate all the picots and double stitches Now four picots are done, another three to go to close this ring. And six, one more pico and two double stitch. And let's close this ring. Now the first ring is done and we have to work with this chain for this I'm going to reverse my work and the ball thread will be wrapped around this finger of the left hand. And we are going to place knots in the usual way that is two double stitch. Again 7 picots separated by 2 double stitch. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh pico. Two double stitch. And we have to join this chain to the center pico. That is the fourth pico of the first ring with the help of crochet hook and 
and pull the chain tightly and place a knot now this is worked and we shall move to the next ring and chain for the next ring we have to reverse our work again Now again 7 picots separated by 2 double stitch each and we have to close this ring. And let's close this ring again. Pull it tightly. Now do we have to work with the chain above this ring. The ball thread should be above now two double stitch again segment picos separated by two double stitch
now we are going to attach this chain to the fourth pico second ring this will be the center pico of this ring and pull it tightly and place the knot now we'll have to do this ring and chain and this ring and chain again this is how we are going to complete this full lace we can do to our desired length also Oh. Again, two double stitch. Pico. Two double stitch. Three picos are done. Another four to go for this chain. Seven double stitch. This chain is completed now. Let's join to this pico. And continue working again. I hope you liked it and thanks for watching.